Hey everybody, welcome back to the Soapy Cauldron. So if you've been following me on Facebook, you'll know that I am attempting to follow a schedule. Um, I am trying to make four soaps a month, so one each week. Um, each week I'm gonna have a different soap, and the themes are gonna be, um, one is gonna be a Muggle Nonsense soap, which I haven't done a lot of, so I wanna make sure I bring those back into rotation. Those are fun, and they're like things that I can do that really have nothing to do with Harry Potter, except Muggles like it, so it's still kinda of Harry Potter, but it's, you know, something that I can do. Uh, somebody said Golden Girls the other day, and I thought that was so fun, and since, you know, that has nothing to do with Harry Potter, I can't really do them very often. Well, I could, but anyways. So that'll be something that I'll start putting back into the rotation. We'll do a Muggle Nonsense soap each month. I'll do a simple soap each month, which will be a very plain uh, bar soap, like one color, maybe a stamp, super simple. And then I'll do two uh, brand new designs. And even though the Muggle Nonsense and the simple soap will still be new designs, they won't be, you know, like the elaborate fun stuff that I create. But tonight's soap is one of those new and fun soaps. It's actually a soap that I've technically kind of made before but I'm changing up the design because this soap is going to be part of a collaboration I am doing with two other Etsy shops. I am doing this collaboration with Magic and Honey um, and I'm also doing this with Kendi's Creation. So I hope that you love it and yeah if you want to see how I make it don't stop watching. Okay, you know, we cannot have a soap without oils and lye water, and we make soap by pouring our lye water into our oils, and that is what we're going to do now. And then to get the soap process started, we are going to stick blend this to it's all incorporated. All right, this soap is going to have a frosted top. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one of these mini buckets and pour off about two cups of soap batter into here to set off to the side to start getting set up for our soap frosting. Then with the remaining batter, I'm actually going to measure it out because I want to have this soap be four different lines, one line to represent each house because this soap is going to be based off of the houses and the sorting hat. So I'm going to measure this batter and see how much I have and then divide it into four equal containers. Now that I know about where we stand, I'm gonna separate this into four equal-ish portions. Okay, got my four equal, let's go with equal uh, portions. So we're gonna start with the red one just because it's left, and we are gonna start that with the Hufflepuff house. To here, I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of Lemon Drop Mica from Nurture Soap, and this is going to be the yellow color we need for Hufflepuff. Hufflepuffs are yellow and black, so we are going to make this our Hufflepuff layer. I'm also going to go ahead and add uh, a quarter of the fragrance oil, and the fragrance oil I'm using is Eucalyptus Rain by Crafter's Choice. I'll stir this up by hand a little bit just to get it going, and then I'll stick blend it just because there's not a ton in here makes an awful noise when it scrapes the bottom of the bowl. Okay, 
Okay, our Hufflepuff layer is in. Just gonna scrape out the bowl to get all the little extras because we're not coming back to this bowl, so I wanna make sure it's all empty. While the Hufflepuff layer is setting up, let's go ahead and get started on the Gryffindor layer. The Gryffindor is going to be Brick Red from Nurture Soap. It's literally a brick red. And if you're familiar with Harry Potter, you'll know that Gryffindors are crimson and gold. So we are going to put this in there to represent Gryffindor. We're also going to go ahead and add our fragrance oil. Also, this fragrance oil, I am loving it. It smells like cool water. When I was in high school, really junior high, cool water was all the rage. Like all the cool kids had cool water cologne. Okay, our yellow layer has set up nicely, so let's go ahead and pour off our Gryffindor layer. Forgot what that was called. <laughs> I'm gonna use this spatula to break the fall so it doesn't puncture our Hufflepuff layer. Scrape out this bowl, and then we'll get to work from the other two houses. Okay, into here, we are going to be doing Ravenclaw, and that is with Klein Blue from Nurture Soap. So a teaspoon of that, and another quarter of our fragrance oil. All right, our Ravenclaw looks beautiful. Beautiful, gorgeous blue color. We are gonna pour that into our mold. Our last and final layer can only be to represent the last house remaining, and that is Slytherin, and the color we are using is Alpine Green. And then we will And then we will wait. Then we will pour the rest of our fragrance oil into this batch and stick blend it up. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do this, but if it gets too bad, I'll just use my spatula. Okay, should go straight on top. I was afraid it was gonna puncture this side. It looks like it's just gonna spread straight on across. Which is what we want. I don't know if y'all have been watching my soap progression, but if you were around in the beginning, 
my stripes were terrible. Absolutely hideous. So I feel like I can safely say I've really come a long way when it comes to stripes. I'm sure I'll mess this up because I just started to brag a little bit, but if you saw the stripes that I used to make versus today, we have come a long way. I don't want to add any of that blue. I have some blue left on here. Okay, let's get the last of the green out. Then we will tap this down, even it out, and go mix up our soap frosting. I'm just testing to see if my frosting is ready. I feel like no. But we are definitely close. Gotta wait. Okie doke, let's cut some soap. We are going for 12 bars. One. And I don't know if all the stripes are gonna look that good throughout, but that stripe looked great. Here's our first full cut bar. And looks good. So that's one. Two, still straight. I'll cut a few more and then I'll show you the stamp that I bought for this. Okay, all of the soaps are gonna be stamped with this sorting hat stamp I got from Rockin' Roberts uh, Designs. He's on Etsy, so make sure to check him out. But we are just going to Place him right in the middle. Press down just a little. Soap's still really soft, so we don't have to press down too hard. And then we pull up. Ta-da! 